Hello everyone. Welcome back to Knowledge Journey, where we dive deep into the realms of psychology, philosophy, and the intricacies of the human experience. My name is John, and today, I want to talk about something profoundly important. Five things you should never accept from anyone. In life, there are certain lines that should never be crossed, certain standards we must uphold to preserve our self-respect and mental well-being. You see, life is like a grand tapestry, each thread representing our choices, values, and boundaries. When we allow others to trample on these threads, we compromise the beauty and integrity of our existence. Let me share a story to set the stage. Imagine a serene morning, the sun gently rising, casting a warm glow over everything it touches. Now picture this. You're sitting at your favorite spot, a quiet corner in a bustling cafe. As you sip your coffee, you reflect on the day ahead, filled with possibilities and challenges. This moment of peace, however fleeting, is sacred. It's a reminder of the tranquility we seek in our lives. But what happens when this tranquility is disrupted? When someone steps into your life with a storm of negativity, disrespect, or manipulation? This is where our boundaries become our shelter, our fortress against the chaos. Today, we'll explore five things you should never accept from anyone. These aren't just random points on a list. They are pillars of a life lived with dignity and self-worth. Disrespect is like a corrosive acid, slowly eating away at our self-esteem. Manipulation is a subtle poison, distorting our reality and controlling our actions. A lack of appreciation leaves us feeling invisible, undervalued, and unworthy. Broken promises shatter the fragile glass of trust, leaving behind shards of disappointment and betrayal. And toxic negativity? It's a dark cloud that obscures the light of our potential, draining our energy and joy. As we journey through these points, I want you to reflect on your own experiences. Have you ever felt disrespected, manipulated, unappreciated? If so, you're not alone. These experiences are part of the human condition, but they don't define us. We have the power to stand up, to say enough, and to reclaim our peace and dignity. So sit back relax, and let's delve into these crucial aspects of our lives. Together, we'll uncover the strength within us to never settle for anything less than we deserve. Remember, this journey isn't just about avoiding negative influences. It's about embracing our worth and living a life that truly reflects our values. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. Let's embark on this journey with open hearts and minds ready to transform our lives for the better. Shot 1. Disrespect. Disrespect. It's a silent killer of confidence and self-worth, creeping into our lives in ways we often don't immediately recognize. Think about a time when you felt belittled or dismissed, perhaps by a colleague, a friend, or even a family member. It stings, doesn't it? It leaves a mark that's hard to erase. Let me tell you about Peter, a man who, like many of us, worked tirelessly at his job. Peter was diligent, reliable, and always ready to lend a hand. Yet, despite his efforts, he faced constant disrespect from his colleagues. They would interrupt him in meetings, dismiss his ideas without consideration, and even make jokes at his expense. Over time, this toxic environment began to erode Peter's self-esteem he started to doubt his abilities and question his worth. Disrespect is insidious because it often starts small, a snide comment here, a dismissive gesture there. But like a drop of water on stone, its cumulative effect can be devastating. It can make you feel invisible, unimportant, and undervalued. It's as if your very presence is being questioned, your contributions rendered meaningless. Now picture this. You're sitting in your favorite chair at home, reflecting on your day. You think about the times you've been disrespected and how it made you feel. Anger, frustration, sadness, they all mix together in a painful cocktail of emotions. You realize that each act of disrespect is not just an attack on your ego, but a direct assault on your dignity. Disrespect from others is a reflection of their character, not yours. 
but tolerating it can lead to internalizing these negative beliefs, creating a vicious cycle that's hard to break. It's crucial to recognize that you deserve respect, simply because you are a human being with inherent worth. Imagine Peter, after years of enduring this mistreatment, finally deciding to stand up for himself. He starts asserting his ideas with confidence, setting boundaries, and demanding the respect he's always deserved. It's not easy, and it doesn't happen overnight, but gradually he begins to see a change. Not just in how others treat him, but in how he sees himself. He rediscovers his self-worth and realizes that respect is not just a luxury, but a fundamental necessity. So let's reflect on this. Have you ever felt like Peter? Have you ever allowed disrespect to diminish your light? Remember, respect is not something you should earn. It's something you should command. It's a non-negotiable in the tapestry of our lives, a thread that holds the very fabric of our being together. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of respect. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the things you should never accept from anyone. And remember, your worth is immeasurable and you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Hush 2. Manipulation. Manipulation is a shadowy presence that can infiltrate our lives in subtle, almost imperceptible ways. It's the art of controlling others through deceptive, unfair, or underhanded tactics. At first, it might seem harmless, even caring, but beneath the surface lies a web of control that can ensnare anyone. Let me introduce you to Sarah, a woman in her 40s who had always considered herself strong and independent. Sarah had a close friend, Lisa, who was always around during tough times, offering advice and support. However, over time, Sarah began to notice that Lisa's support came with strings attached. Lisa would often make Sarah feel guilty for not following her advice, subtly twisting situations to her advantage and making Sarah doubt her own judgment. Manipulation is a corrosive force, one that can erode your sense of self and autonomy. It can come in many forms, emotional blackmail, guilt tripping, or even playing the victim. It often begins with small, seemingly innocuous suggestions. But as these suggestions accumulate, they start to form chains that bind you to the manipulator's will. Sarah's experience is a stark reminder of how manipulation can creep into even the closest of relationships. She found herself constantly second-guessing her decisions, feeling guilty for prioritizing her needs, and living in a state of perpetual anxiety about disappointing Lisa. It was only when a mutual friend pointed out the pattern that Sarah began to see the manipulation for what it was. The psychological impact of manipulation is profound. It can leave you feeling powerless, confused, and dependent on the manipulator's approval. It's a toxic dance where your sense of reality becomes intertwined with someone else's agenda. The manipulator thrives on this control, often masking their intentions with a facade of care and concern. Imagine Sarah finally recognizing the manipulation, deciding to reclaim her life. She begins to set boundaries, assert her own needs, and trust her own judgment. It's a painful and challenging process, but ultimately liberating. She learns to spot the subtle signs of manipulation and refuses to be a pawn in someone else's game. Reflecting on this, have you ever felt like Sarah? Have you ever found yourself entangled in the web of someone else's control? It's crucial to recognize that your life is your own and no one has the right to manipulate you for their gain. Your decisions, your choices, and your autonomy are sacred and they deserve to be protected fiercely. Thank you for journeying with me through this exploration of manipulation. As we continue, we'll delve into more things you should never accept from anyone. And remember, your autonomy and self-respect are non-negotiable. You have the power to live a life free from the shadows of manipulation. Havshirk 3. Lack of Appreciation Lack of appreciation is like an invisible weight that slowly crushes your spirit. It's the absence of acknowledgement, 
the feeling of being taken for granted, and the quiet erosion of your self-worth. When you invest time, effort, and love into relationships or endeavors and receive no recognition in return, it's as if your contributions vanish into a void. Let me tell you about John, a man who had been in a long-term relationship with his partner, Emily. John was the type of person who always went the extra mile. He would plan special dates, remember important anniversaries, and support Emily through every challenge. Yet despite his efforts, Emily rarely showed appreciation. She seldom thanked him, acknowledged his efforts, or reciprocated the same level of care. At first, John brushed it off, thinking that maybe she was just busy or stressed. But as time went on, the lack of appreciation began to gnaw at him. He felt invisible, undervalued, and unimportant. His once vibrant spirit started to dim, and he found himself questioning his worth and his place in the relationship. Appreciation is, is not just about receiving thanks or recognition. It's about feeling seen and valued. It's the warmth of knowing that your efforts matter, that your presence makes a difference. Without it, even the strongest of spirits can wither. Imagine John, sitting alone one evening, reflecting on his relationship. He recalls all the times he went out of his way to show his love, only to be met with silence. The realization hits him like a tidal wave. He has been pouring his heart into a relationship that doesn't nourish him in return. This lack of appreciation has been slowly draining his joy and self-esteem. John decides to have a heartfelt conversation with Emily. He expresses his feelings and explains how the lack of appreciation has affected him. It's a difficult conversation filled with vulnerability and raw emotion, but it's also a turning point. Emily, taken aback, realizes the impact of her actions and starts making an effort to show her gratitude and appreciation. Reflect on your own life for a moment. Have you ever, have you ever felt like John? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your efforts went unnoticed, your presence unappreciated? It's important to recognize that appreciation is a fundamental human need. We all deserve to feel valued and acknowledged. When you constantly accept a lack of appreciation, you start to believe that you're not worthy of it. This can lead to a downward spiral of self-doubt and diminished self-worth. It's crucial to communicate your need for appreciation and, if necessary, make changes to ensure you are in relationships and environments where your contributions are valued. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. As we continue, we'll explore more things you should never accept from anyone. Remember, your efforts and presence matter. You deserve to be seen, valued, and appreciated for who you are and what you bring to the world. Number four, broken promises. Broken promises are like cracks in the foundation of a relationship. Each one, no matter how small, undermines the trust and reliability that are essential for any strong bond. Trust is the bedrock of all meaningful relationships, and when promises are repeatedly broken, that foundation starts to crumble, leaving behind a structure that's fragile and unstable. Consider the story of Maria and Tom, a couple who had been together for many years. In the beginning, Tom's promises were grand and filled with hope. He promised Maria the world, a future filled with dreams, adventures, and unwavering support. But as time went on, those promises were often left unfulfilled. Tom would promise to be there for important events, to support Maria in her career, or to spend more quality time together. But more often than not, he fell short. At first, Maria tried to be understanding. She made excuses for Tom, convincing herself that he was just busy or that circumstances were beyond his control. But with each broken promise, a piece of her trust chipped away. The disappointment turned into hurt and the hurt into resentment. Maria found herself questioning Tom's commitment and reliability, wondering if she could truly count on him. Broken promises can be devastating because they betray the trust that holds a relationship together. They create an environment of uncertainty and insecurity where you constantly doubt whether you can rely on the other person. 
This can lead to a cycle of disappointment and frustration, eroding the emotional bond that once brought joy and comfort. Imagine Maria, after years of enduring broken promises, sitting alone one evening, reflecting on her relationship. She thinks about all the time she trusted Tom's words, only to be let down. The realization dawns on her that these broken promises are not just isolated incidents, they are a pattern that reflects a deeper issue in their relationship. Maria decides to confront Tom, expressing her feelings of hurt and betrayal. She explains how each broken promise has affected her trust and their relationship. It's a difficult conversation, filled with raw emotions and vulnerability. Tom listens, realizing the impact of his actions. He understands that if he wants to rebuild their relationship, he needs to start keeping his promises and regaining Maria's trust. Reflect on your own experiences for a moment. Have you ever been in Maria's shoes? Have you ever trusted someone's promises, only to be repeatedly let down? It's important to recognize that keeping promises is not just about fulfilling commitments. It's about honoring the trust that others place in you. When you accept broken promises, you send a message that your trust and reliability are negotiable. This can lead to a relationship dynamic where promises are made lightly and broken easily eroding the mutual respect and trust that are crucial for a healthy bond. It's essential to communicate your expectations and to hold others accountable for their commitments. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of broken promises. As we continue, we'll delve into more things you should never accept from anyone. Remember, your trust is a precious gift and you deserve to be in relationships where promises are kept and trust is honored. Five, toxic negativity. Toxic negativity is like a dark cloud that looms over your life, obscuring the light and draining your energy. It's the pervasive pessimism, constant complaining and destructive attitudes that can suffocate your spirit and rob you of joy. When you're surrounded by negativity, it's challenging to maintain a positive outlook and to pursue your goals with enthusiasm. Consider the story of Mike, a man in his late 40s, who had a friend named Steve. Steve was the kind of person who always saw the glass as half empty. No matter what the situation, he would find something to criticize, complain about, or lament. Initially, Mike tried to be a supportive friend, listening to Steve's grievances and offering advice. But over time, he noticed that every interaction with Steve left him feeling drained and demoralized. Toxic negativity isn't just about complaining or pessimism. It's an insidious force that can infiltrate your thoughts and emotions. It can make you doubt your abilities, question your decisions, and feel hopeless about the future. This constant barrage of negativity can stifle your growth hinder your happiness, and create a toxic environment that's difficult to escape. Imagine Mike, after yet another exhausting conversation with Steve, sitting in his living room, reflecting on the impact of this negativity. He realizes that Steve's constant complaints and negative outlook are affecting his own mental health and well-being. Mike loves Steve as a friend, but he understands that he cannot continue to allow this negativity to dominate his life. Mike decides to have an honest conversation with Steve. He explains how the constant negativity is affecting him and sets boundaries to protect his own mental health. Steve is initially taken aback, but Mike's honesty opens a path to a more balanced friendship where negativity doesn't overshadow their interactions. Reflect on your own life for a moment. Have you ever felt like Mike, surrounded by someone whose negativity drains your energy and dampens your spirit? It's important to recognize that while you can be empathetic and supportive, you also need to protect your own well-being. Toxic negativity is not just an annoyance. It's a barrier to a fulfilling and joyful life. When you constantly accept toxic negativity, you start to internalize it you may begin to see the world through a similar negative lens, affecting your outlook, your relationships, and your overall happiness. 
It's crucial to create boundaries, distance yourself from persistent negativity, and surround yourself with positive, uplifting influences. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the five things you should never accept from anyone. As we conclude, remember that your mental and emotional health are paramount. You deserve to be in environments that nurture your growth, support your happiness, and respect your worth. Stand firm in your boundaries and embrace the positivity that life has to offer. Conclusion In summary, never accept disrespect, manipulation, lack of appreciation, broken promises, or toxic negativity from anyone. Your self-respect, mental health, and overall well-being are too valuable to be compromised. Stand up for yourself, set clear boundaries, and seek out relationships and environments that honor and uplift you. Thank you for being part of this exploration. I hope these insights resonate with you and encourage you to live a life of dignity, respect, and joy. Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Knowledge Journey for more enlightening content. Until next time, take care and remember, you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness.